Hello, my name is Bill. I am the pastor at Freedom Sutra Church here in Gibsonville, North Carolina. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking this time of devotion, spending it with me as we get to know our Lord better. As I was working through my devotions this morning, I was thinking about Jesus' power and how wonderful it must have been to do the kind of miracles that he did. I mean, he did so many things with such power and with such elegance as he went about doing it. Healing people, causing the blind to see and the deaf to hear, the mute to speak, the paralyzed and lame to walk. He walked on water, maybe not once, but maybe a couple of different, on a couple of different occasions. One time calling one of his own disciples to come out to him. He fed 5,000 people and another occasion, on another occasion, 4,000 people out in the wilderness when the folks had nothing. And he, only, he himself only had five loaves of bread and a few fish. What power Jesus exercised in the world. And you and I might get wrapped up thinking about what would it be like to have the Holy Spirit so tightly with us that we exercise the same kind of power and can do the same kind of miracles in the world. How great we would make the name of Jesus known if we had the same kind of resources. Ah, and when I'm thinking like that, I realized I was barking up the wrong tree. I was totally misplaced in terms of my focus because Jesus isn't all about the power of God. Jesus is about his Father's purpose. Purpose is what becomes the most important thing in Jesus' book. And power follows that purpose. God gives Jesus the power through his Holy Spirit to do what needs to be done because Jesus is so oriented on completing his Father's mission doing everything Father God wants him to do to reveal love and compassion and mercy and give the people hope. And I believe that's a lesson for you and for me. We don't need to be focused in on Jesus' power thinking, wow, what would we do if we had the power to do those kinds of miracles? We too have the same resources when it comes to living with the same kind of purpose. A God given, God motivated, God empowered purpose for sharing Jesus and his love with other people. And God will make it so you too can do miracles in your own right as you are focused on God's purpose, not on power. What brought this up? I was reading in the withered, the, I was reading the, the story of the withered fig here in Matthew 21. Um, it starts in verse 18. But this is what Jesus says about God's power, and this is what led me to think about purpose. He's already talked about, yes, you'll be able to do incredible power um, as you pray. But then he goes on to say, this mountain, for instance, you'll tell, jump into the lake, and it will jump. Absolutely everything, ranging from small to large, as you make it part of your believing prayer, gets included as you lay hold of God. Our God is incredibly powerful, yes. Our God can cause miracles to happen, yes. But lay hold of God's purpose for you and for your life. And may you experience all the blessings of our Father's presence in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for joining me for this moment of devotion. You're welcome to go to freedens.church, F-R-I-E-D-E-N-S dot church, to continue the conversations, to continue to find ways to grow in spirit. And God willing, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.